Hello, my name is Natalie Barino. I'm a Norwex independent sales consultant. Um, and I'm making this video today because sometimes when I try to go live on Facebook, it doesn't work. <laughs> and um, this is gonna be my backup to post when I'm having internet problems. Um, so thanks so much for joining me today. Um, as I said, I am not live. So if you're typing questions and um, I'm not responding to your questions right away. It's because I'm not actually here. <laughs> um, but do please put any questions in the comment section and I will be happy to um, get to those questions and answer them as quickly as possible. Um, so thanks for hanging with me there. Um, in this video today, I'm going to be demoing for you the Safe Haven 5, which looks like this. Um, this is a set of five products that um, some of our top sellers that Norwex decided to put into a package so that if you're like, I don't know what to get for my first order, Safe Haven 5 <laughs> will clean um, like 99% of your house, just those products and adding water. Um, at the end of this video, I'm also gonna briefly mention our amazing mop system, which uses pretty similar products to the Safe Haven 5, just in a mop pad form. Um, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so if you're brand new to Norwex, um, our mission is to basically change people's lives by reducing the use of harsh chemicals in our homes. So that's our cleaning products, um, our body products. So, so we have things like hair conditioner and soap, um, all different kinds of products so that when you're in your home, you're in a safe haven where there's not all those nasty chemicals. Um, Cause did you know, I have a couple little, my little icebreaker cards. Um, this one says, did you know more than 200 chemicals have been found in the cord blood of newborns? So that's like a brand new baby. They've never been exposed out in the world to chemicals. And yet, as soon as they're born in that cord blood, there's already over 200 chemicals. Um, and that's just things that the mom has picked up and passed on. Don't worry, you're not a bad mom if that's you. <laughs> um, and then this one says, did you know the average household contains about 62 toxic chemicals? Um, so I wanna just clarify really quick. Water is a chemical. All kinds of totally natural things are chemicals. But in Norwex, we really wanna highlight these um, toxic chemicals, things that whether they're natural or man-made are known to cause harm or disrupt your, um, your endocrine system, your, your hormone function, because hormones, um, are what regulate pretty much everything that happens in your body. We tend to think of them as just like reproductive hormones or, uh, hormones when you're a teenager, but they tell your body everything that it does. So if your hormones get messed up, you can start to have a lot of issues like you can have allergies, digestive problems, you can have reproductive problems. It's just, you just don't want that to happen to you. <laughs> um, so Norwex originally started um, in Norway in 1994. Um, actually a little bit before 1994 is when it was getting going, but then it became a company in 1994. And they started out with um, this basic cloth. Mine's a little dirty because it's been in the garage. <laughs> um, this is called the Enviro cloth. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not, not like a super tiny person. This is a large cloth. <laughs> and um, they started out with just this and water. And so this is a microfiber cloth. And they found that you could clean really well just with water and a simple microfiber cloth. Um, so over time, there's been a few improvements made to the cloth um, and we've added a lot more products, but this was the original standby Norwex product. Um, so I said microfiber cloth. You might be thinking, Natalie, I can go to the grocery store and buy a microfiber cloth. Like why would I spend like 20 bucks on a Norwex microfiber cloth. So there's a few things that set Norwex microfiber apart from your grocery store microfiber. <laughs> um, our microfiber, for one, micro is in the name. So in order to be considered a microfiber, an individual fiber has to be split to the size of at least one sixth 
like a six, the size of a human hair. Um, so if you look at your hair, um, even if you have thick hair, I do not have thick hair, but if you have thick hair, if you imagine six times smaller than that, still pretty teeny. <laughs> Um, so that's just in order to be like technically microfiber. Most microfiber you buy in the store is going to be around 1 30th, 1 60th, somewhere in that range. Norwex microfiber is guaranteed to be at least, at least 1 200th the size of a human hair. So look at your hair again. 1 200th, so 200 times smaller. You really wouldn't even be able to see something that small. So it's super, super tiny. Um, but as you can see, we have a pretty good sized cloth. And I mean, it's not like super thin. So there's a lot of fiber in there. <laughs> if you unraveled an Enviro cloth, it would stretch 1,800 miles. So that's from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. Sorry, there was a fly in my kitchen. Super, super far. Um, so with that, we have really high density in our cloth. Um, so unfortunately, this is the part of the party I'd pass the cloth around and let you touch it, but you can kind of tell it's woven, um, it's like looped. There's little loops in there. Um, and that's how all of our cloths are gonna be. This one's a little bit more easy to see. Um, and what those loops do, um, so the special weave of the cloth, is that um, when you fold your cloth, I always fold mine into force like this so I have more clean sides to use. Um, and then as you wipe your counter, um, I know you can't super see the counter, but I'm wiping it with a flat hand. I'm able to pick up 99% of bacteria and surface contaminants. Anything that's on the surface, I'm picking up 99% of it because of that special, it's kind of like a barrel looking weave. Um, so once I've picked it up, I'll show you in a demo in just a moment, but um, as we pick it up, then as I keep wiping, those um, contaminants just get further and further into the cloth. So they're also not going to um, just spread to the next section of counter that you're using. Um, so that's pretty, pretty impressive. That impressed me the first time I saw it. Um, and then the third thing that sets Norwex microfiber apart is our backlock technology. So most of our cloths, not every single one, but most of them contain backlock and they'll say right on the tag, backlock. Um, and what that is, is just our fancy uh, trademarked work, word for a micro silver um, that is embedded in the fabric. So as you look, it's not like there's a silver thread. Um, it's actually, part of each fiber has this micro silver. And what that does is it allows the cloth to self purify. Um, so within 24 hours after you, after you've, you know, wiped down your counter, wiped your bathroom, whatever, um, within 24 hours as the cloth dries, that micro silver will go to work and it will keep any kind of like bacteria, germs, um, mold, mildew, Things that would grow in your cloth, it stops them in their tracks. So they're not able to reproduce and like make a bigger colony. Um, so over time, 24 hours is when we're like, yeah, everything's definitely dead, but it can be sooner than that, depending on what you've picked up. Um, within that 24 hours, no new bacteria has grown and the ones that you picked up originally have died at that point um, without reproducing. So <laughs> it means that you have a bacteria-free cloth. Um, so you might be wondering, why does that matter? I can just throw it in the wash. Here's why that matters. Um, I know I used to clean my home with just regular cloths. I would just have like a rag by the sink. And after like a day, maybe even less if I'm cleaning something gross, it starts to get a smell and it starts to get a gross texture and it's like mm, that cloth is kind of stinky the stinkiness is actually from stuff growing in it so if we don't have stuff growing in it we don't have the stinky dishcloth we can actually reuse this cloth for some people do up to two weeks but i usually do about a week um 
And so that means I don't have as much laundry to do. I'm not constantly having to pull out a new cloth. Um, the, the weave of the fabric helps me feel comfortable using this all over my kitchen and my daughter's little table that she eats at. I have a two-year-old, so uh, I'm always trying to clean things since she puts everything in her mouth. Um, so I can reuse this for about oh, like a week to two weeks, depending on basically how, how much gross stuff I'm picking up. Eventually, um, the fibers will get coated as you pick up things that are more greasy. So you do want each time you're done using it, take it to the sink, scrub it with hot water. You can use a little dot of dish soap. We have a really excellent dish soap um, from Norwex but you can use something else if you have something else. You give it a nice little scrub, you rinse it again to get all that soap out because you don't want to leave the soap behind. And then now that we've gotten rid of the grease because the soap just helps lubricate that grease and get it out. After we've gotten rid of the grease, we just hang it to dry. Sometimes I just drape mine over the sink or it has a nice little loop if you have, um, like I have some different places in my house with little hooks to just hook it and let it dry. Um, and then you can just keep using it throughout the day. And by the next day, you know that it's fully sanitized itself and there's no more bacteria growing in there. Um, so you might be saying, okay, like that's nice that this lady on YouTube is telling me these things, but where's the proof? Here it comes. So normally we refer to this demo as the chicken demo. Normally I do it with a piece of raw chicken. Um, but I'm recording this during coronavirus times <laughs> and we don't have a whole lot of chicken in our house and I'm trying to save what we do have. So I'm going to use peanut butter for this demo. Um, I'm going to use peanut butter because peanut butter is high in protein and protein is actually what I'm going to be testing for. Um, so I kind of just did a little bait and switch on you there. I've been talking about bacteria and now suddenly I'm talking about proteins. Why, why would I do that? Um, so what I'm gonna test today is um, I'm gonna use these little, these are called Pl Pro Clean is the brand test strips. Um, this is not a Norwex product. Norwex doesn't make these. Um, I buy these in bulk with my team um, from a like medical, like lab supply place. Um, I'm in Hygienia. <laughs> And this is what the health inspector would use if you owned a restaurant and they come in like once a year to, to give you a grade on how clean your restaurant is. They test for protein on surfaces. A um, couple reasons for that. One is because if you look at the scale of the different sizes of teensy particles that you need a microscope to see, a bacteria and a protein are different sizes. A protein is very, very, very small. A bacteria is larger. So if we wipe a surface and we're able to pick up all the way down to that teeny protein, we've also picked up that larger bacteria too. Um, so you can just process of like reduct, uh, deductive reasoning. Um, if there's no protein, there's no bacteria. But the second reason is because protein is one of the very favorite foods of bacteria. So uh, we talk about raw chicken. That's like a really gross thing to have in your house, right? Like you wouldn't prepare raw chicken on your counter and then just give it a little paper towel swipe. You would use something more heavy duty to clean that up, right? Because you don't want that juice just sitting there. But we eat chicken, the protein in chicken, there's nothing actually wrong with it, but um, bacteria will see that protein and it'll be attracted to that area and then it will have a nice place to grow and get stronger and bigger and that's when it can make us sick. Um, and that's why a lot of times um, we do worry about raw chicken being contaminated because it's a place where bacteria can multiply very quickly. Um, so I'm using peanut butter because peanut butter, nuts, protein, we're going to have the same test. So there's my peanut butter. This, um, by the way, is my Norwex cutting board. I always have to just mention that because I would not have bought this cutting board, but it was in my like sign up kit and oh my goodness, it is the best cutting board ever. 
it's a plasticky feel. It's made from recycled rice husks. So that's something that normally would just get thrown away as we're producing rice, but Norwex figured out a way to use it uh, to make this plasticky feeling cutting board. It has a nice silicone ring on the back, so it's not gonna move around as I'm cutting. Um, and I cut with my sharpest knives on this and it really, you know, I thought it'd be more dinged up. I've had it almost two years, but it's looking really good. It has a nice hook either for your thumb or to hang it up if you want to hang it up. Anyway, um, you should definitely buy that. So I'm just going to take my Norwex Enviro cloth. I've gotten it damp uh, before I started the video. So it's wet and I'm just going to take my nice smooth surface. I'm actually going to refold it. Um, another consultant recently taught me start with the tag side. So that way you know where you've been, you know where you started. So when you get back here, it's like, okay, time to rinse out the cloth. So I'm just gonna hold it like this. And let's see how much I can get with one wipe. So this is peanut butter. Um, this is the kind of thing that you normally would be taking like a couple paper towels or hot water. So just one swipe. There's a little smudge left, but like I almost got it all. Just with one. Um, so then I'm going to just come back behind, wipe a little more. And now what I'm going to do actually, um, nah. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to keep wiping this area. So there's definitely, there's, I've got peanut butter on this side. I'm going to wipe like around even where I didn't put the peanut butter. And that's going to show us if my cloth is cross contaminating at all. Um, so there's my peanut butter cloth <laughs> and I'm going to take my strip. So it's a little swab on the one end. I'm going to go ahead and swab my area. Put it in here. Crack this little top piece, squirt down the liquid. And then I didn't mention this before, but we have our color gradient on the side. Green is no protein detected. Um, and then the more uh, dark, all the way down to purple that the liquid gets, purple means protein. <laughs> it means there's lots of protein there. So um, we can already see that it's green. So there was no protein. And I mean, you saw the cutting board up close. This, it's got some texture. It's not like I'm just wiping it right off a plate. Um, the, the microfiber in here, since it's so small, it's able to get into all those little cracks. So I've actually used it on a very, very like scratched up old cutting board and I couldn't believe it, but it totally, totally cleaned it. I was shocked. <laughs> um, and just to prove to you that I'm not using like a trick strip. This is a legitimate protein tester. I'm gonna take, I still have some peanut butter on my knife and I'm gonna swab that. And we will see, did I even, yeah. Some of these have been taking a little while to turn. We're gonna just give that a sec. I can tell that it's turning, but on the camera, it doesn't, yeah, you can kind of tell that's starting to turn gray. Our second color, yeah. We'll come back to that in just a sec. Um, so that's our Enviro cloth. Um, that's one of my very favorite cloths. I use this every single day in my home. Um, I use it to clean my kitchen, clean my bathroom. Um, we clean stuff out in the garage. My husband loves it for cleaning the dash of his car because it gets um, it not just dusty, but it gets kind of like grimy after a while. So that's super awesome for just all over your home. You can clean your floors with it too. Come back to that guy. It's just getting darker and darker. You can see like where I actually touched the peanut butter is like purple. Uh, so that's the Enviro. Um, the Enviro cloth has a best friend called the window cloth. Uh, we also call this the polishing cloth. I think that is a little bit better name for it actually because it's a polisher. Um, so what you do with this, it, you can see it's, it's a little bigger than the Enviro. Um, it's this really nice smooth 
material. So it's perfect for polishing any kind, any surface you want to polish, really. Um, we use it for windows, uh, mirrors, any other kinds of glass. Um, I have a, oh, it's really messy. I have a glass top stove that I'll shine when I'm done cleaning it. Um, if you have like a granite countertop that you want to be really nice and polished, this is what you want. So to do a little demo for that, here's, here's how you do it. I have a mirror. My mirror is already a little bit dirty, but I'm going to make it even dirtier. I'm going to take a little bit of butter. So butter, you probably don't want this on a mirror, right? <laughs> um, the butter is a dramatic version of things that you would have in your home. Like I have a two year old. She likes to put her hands and face all over my, I have a big glass door or she'll go up to the window. If you have pets, they probably like to put their nose and paws on your windows too. <laughs> um, this could also be just other things like toothpaste on your bathroom mirror. I know my husband is always getting toothpaste on the mirror. <laughs> like just wipe it off. It's not that hard. Um, so if I had this nasty, nasty mess before Norwex, um, I would take my window spray cleaner. I would spray it a whole bunch. I would take some paper towels or newspapers and like it would take a bit to clean this, right? Cause it's really stuck on um, and just like greasy mess. But um, with Norwex, we're not gonna use any added chemicals at all, just water. I mean, that's just a chemical, but no chemical cleaners. I'm just gonna take my same damp Enviro cloth and I'm just gonna wipe this area. Um, and boom, no more butter. However, it is now wet, right? If I just let this sit and dry, it would look streaky because there's water still on it. Um, just a little spot, there we go. So what I do is I come behind with the dry window cloth and give it a quick polish. And just like that, nice and clean. This mirror is old, it has some little dings. So just, um, just trust me, it's clean, okay? They're just, it's a scratched mirror. I need to get a, a better mirror for this. Um, <laughs> and the other great thing is that then as I touch the mirror, there's no, um, well, I actually had a little butter on my finger, so I did get a little bit on there. But um, when you use a chemical cleaner on your mirrors, um, that chemical gets left behind a little bit. And what that does is attract more dust and dirt and grease. So when we're just using water, we're not leaving a chemical behind, which means that as dust comes to the mirror, it can just kind of fall off more easily. It's not getting sucked in. Um, so your windows and mirrors and whatever you're cleaning actually will stay clean for longer. So it's easy and you don't do it as often and no chemicals. <laughs> Cause anything, you gotta think about it. Anything that's a spray cleaner or you can smell it as you're cleaning it, those are fumes going into the air and polluting the atmosphere in your home. Um, and they tend to stay for quite a while cause it's not like your windows are always open to circulate all the air. It just stays in your house. So yuck. So that's the Enviro and Window. The next product in our Safe Haven 5 is the dusting mitt. This is one of my favorites because I hate dusting and this makes it super easy. So double-sided, you can see I've already used it in my house a little bit. Um, it does come totally clean in the wash. It just hasn't been washed. Um, so this is more of a fluffy like terry cloth material. And um, I do have a demo for this too because my house actually isn't that dusty right now somehow. But I know a lot of us do have a super dusty house because we dust and then 20 or 30 minutes later, it's like the dust just has resettled, right? It just kind of comes right back. Um, or you use a chemical spray cleaner, which again, chemical spray cleaners, they get left behind on the surface. They attract more dust and dirt. You have to clean more often. Um, or sometimes they leave that kind of like greasy, greasy look. So I've got some flour on my cutting board that's gonna simulate dust um, because it's easier to see. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my dusting mitt 
This works with static cling or static electricity. So before I use it, I like to rub it against itself to get it all like charged up with friction. Um, and then I'm just gonna come and wipe. You can see, I didn't get quite all of it because that was a lot of flour, but it's also not just like falling right off. It's staying on Oh, a teeny bit fell, but look at all that. Um, and then actually, if I was gonna keep using it, I would actually grind it in a little bit See, it just kind of gets, gets pushed down. And then I can come back, finish my dusting easily. And I got it all that quickly. Um, I know you can't feel it, but there's also no dusty feel left behind. And like, I really did get it. Um, and then to clean this, we either have, you can just take it outside and shake it or hit it against your house. Or we do have our rubber brush um, that will help to just release the dust um, or like especially if you're dusting something really gross that has like chunkies um, I had a I just deep cleaned my house that's why I don't have stuff like that to dust but I did <laughs> let's just say that um, so it's super great you can use it on one hand get it all filled up put it on the other hand you can also buy two go both hands that's what I do um, and that's the dusting mitt so we're dusting we're not leaving behind any chemicals. We're not just pushing the dust back up in the air to settle again. It's actually getting put into the mitt. Um, and then, yeah, you just shake it outside or use the brush and then you can throw it in the wash. Um, super easy. And then um, our fourth product. Oh my goodness, look how purple that got from our peanut butter. Um, our fourth product is cleaning paste. And for my demo, I have to start this now and then I'll talk about it while this dries up. So I have a little whiteboard. You can see it's pretty dirty. It's pretty old. My daughter just plays on this. I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to draw on it. So I am a teacher. Um, I'm a music teacher and this would be like my worst nightmare is to see a student drawing in Sharpie on my whiteboard. Like oh, it's going to take so long to clean but not with Norwex. So I wrote that on. We're going to just, um, I guess I'll just hold it so you know that I'm not switching it out or anything. Um, and I'm going to let that dry for a minute. Um, so our cleaning paste comes in. It's, it's called a paste, but it's, it's hard when you get it. Um, it is made out of primarily marble dust. So like a marble countertop, like the stone, they grind it up into a dust. Then they add coconut oil and some natural soap. A few other things I don't remember. There's not a whole lot of ingredients. And um, you it turns into a paste when you add your damp enviro cloth to it. So you kind of just go like this. And I mean, you can tell like, I've had this literally since like August of 2018. I use it not every single day, but like definitely every couple days. And it, it's still, I would say, well over half full. It, can't, it When it comes to you, it's like flat at the top. Um, but so you just take about like that much and then you go ahead and clean whatever it is you're gonna clean. So we call this elbow grease in a jar because you always wanna start with the Enviro cloth, but sometimes like you'll be scrubbing your bathtub and you're like, all right, this is just taking a really long time. <laughs> um, like I'm making very slow progress. That's when I add this. It just has a little grit to get through those um, tougher jobs. So I've used this on my windows. If something's like really dried and stuck on, I use this. I use it to clean my glass top stove. I do use it for my bathtub, sink, shower. Um, I haven't used it on the toilet, I guess. <laughs> um, you can use it on a lot of different types of floor. I would not necessarily recommend this for like a natural wood, but any kind of tile or you also don't want to use it on natural stone since it is stone it can kind of like take away the shine um you can use it um on your cars like the hubcaps of your car to get those all scrubbed and shiny like the chrome um and so here my this is just my favorite use for it i have 
um this is my one from home but i have a bunch of like square whiteboards that just were really really gross and i used this stuff and it totally cleaned it so first i'll show you what would happen if i just went at it with like the the non cleaning paste so like nothing's really happening um it is cleaning the background a little bit actually i don't know if you can tell but nothing's really happening there so that's when we bring in our cleaning paste and every time i do this i'm like hopefully it works <laughs> but because i'm just like still surprised every time so i have my cleaning paste and sorry it's kind of awkward to like do this while i'm holding it but as you can see like boom it's just coming right off i'm not pushing super hard um and so hopefully you don't actually have sharpie on your whiteboards <laughs> Um, or, you know, like your windows, but if you do, problem solved. And um, if you have just like a gross board and you wanna clean it quickly, it looks way better. <laughs> um, so that's a cleaning paste. I, I seriously use this in almost every room of my house. It's amazing. Um, and so even after scrubbing that hard, you can tell there's still quite a bit here. I will um, reapply it to the Enviro cloth several times during my cleaning, but um, a little does go a long way. So that's one of my favorite products. <laughs> the fifth product in our Safe Haven 5, 5 is the last product. Um, you may be wondering, okay, this is really great. These products seem cool, but they're fabric. That means that they're gonna have to be washed. The washing prog prog process is probably complicated and annoying and you probably have to hand wash them and then like air dry them. No, super, super easy. Um, you wash your cloths on hot water. Um, after, as I mentioned with this, if you've used it, um, you do go ahead and scrub it out under the sink just to get, I mean, you don't want to throw that in your wash. You just get that greasiness out. Um, but when it is ready to be laundered about every two weeks, um, you just throw it in the washing machine on hot. You can dry it in the dryer. Um, you can hang dry them if you want. Some people do, but there's no need to do that, especially for our dusting products. Um, they get nice and recharged with that static cling when they go through the dryer. So we really recommend that you use the dryer for those. Um, so yeah, wash on hot. You don't want to wash it with any kind of like linty load. So um, all our products are designed to be basically grabbing any little particles that they find. Um, so if you wash it with something that has a bunch of lint, it's going to just kind of fill up the cloth with lint and clog the fibers and it won't work as efficiently. So um, for me, a good load that is hot water but non-linty is bed sheets. Um, so that's what I recommend people do or just buy a whole bunch of Norwex like me and then it all fits in a load by itself. <laughs> um, but yeah, bed sheets are a good load for that. And then um, we also don't want you to use any kind of like fabric softener or bleach or dryer sheets because bleach will just degrade the fibers more quickly. It actually does void the warranty of the cloth. They're warrantied for two years. Um, but fabric softeners and dryer sheets and um, laundry detergents that have a lot of like additives, we don't want you to use those because it's also gonna like coat the fibers and clog them up. And then you'll notice that your cloth is getting stinky really fast. Um, and we don't want that. We want it to work really efficiently for you. So Norwex has come up with their own detergent, which I love. Um, it's actually in a different package now, but it's uh, pretty much the same stuff, just a white package. Um, so this is our powdered laundry detergent. You can tell it's not like huge. Um, but our detergents are ultra concentrated, so a little bit lasts a really long time. There are use instructions on the back. In America, we recommend, because we're an international company, so they have to have kind of generic instructions. In America, we recommend that you actually ignore those <laughs> and use even less. Um, so like on the back here, it says, for a large load, one scoop, because there's a little scoop in here. I would say for a large load, half a teaspoon. So, um, 
course I don't have one right here with me, but I have little teaspoon, like individual measuring spoons and I just will stick one in there. So I just know there's a half teaspoon. Um, Cause like I said, ultra concentrated, you really don't need very much. You can always start with half teaspoon or even a quarter teaspoon if you have smaller loads and adjust as needed. Um, so on the bag, it says if you have a high efficiency washer, um, 100 loads. Since that's going off their recommendations and we um, as US consultants recommend you use less, you get even more than 100 loads. I've gotten probably twice that, honestly. I haven't tallied, but I'll use the same bag for a really long time. Um, so our, our detergent, in addition to being ultra concentrated, it's also totally free from phosphates, SLS, SLES, those are like surfactants and they help the they help your detergent to bubble but you don't really need them um chlorine bleach fillers optical brighteners dyes fragrances and none of our products are ever tested on animals um so that's that's good <laughs> um it is a really good stain fighter i like to use the powder detergent around my house actually as an all-purpose cleaner as well. I just add it to a little bit of water um, and it works works really great. Sometimes my husband will have like really dirty work pants because he works outside. So if they're really gross, I just put them in the, in the sink with some water and just do a little sprinkle of detergent and let them kind of sit for a little bit before I put them in the wash. Um, so that's our powder detergent. We do also have a liquid which is what I prefer for the actual washing machine. Um, this has natural enzymes. So those are gonna be um, basically eating up like natural odors and stains. Um, so I like that. And again, um, it has instructions on the back, but I use literally one pump for most loads. If it's my husband's really gross load of laundry, I'll use two, but you don't need very much of this stuff. Again, ultra concentrated. If you don't want to buy Norwex detergent, that's okay. You can still use our cloths. Um, I would just recommend that you use something that's like, it doesn't have a dye, it's not bright blue, um, and just something that's as free and clear as possible. A lot of detergents will have, like brands will have a line that's like free and clear. They definitely are not as good as our detergent. I'm just gonna be honest, I've tried them, um, but it's better than like a standard laundry detergent. Um, but I really, really recommend that you try out our Norwex detergent. We have like a six, 60 or 90, 60 day return policy. So in two months you've done some laundry, you know if you like it or not. Um, but yeah, so that's our Safe Haven 5. Um, those are the five products that are gonna clean 99% of your home. 90% of your home, I can't remember which one, 90%, I don't know. <laughs> I use them to clean my entire home. Um, and really quickly, I am going to go over our mop. Um, it's a little hard to do this on a video, um, but our mop is a pretty good size. It has, um, I should do this on floor. It has an adjustable handle. So I'm five foot four. That's five foot four. It can go even a bit above that. We recommend that you have it like right about chin height. Um, it is an ergonomic mop, hence the adjustability. And then, um, it has this like kind of rubbery ball that helps it to not fall over when you lean it up against a wall. Um, and then the base, um, it rotates really well, kind of goes all different directions. Um, and we have, uh, the base is removable if you need to remove it and switch it out. We have some uh, other products you can put on this handle. But then for the pads themselves, we have Mine's dirty, sorry. This is the dry mop pad, it's yellow. Dry like yellow like the sun, <laughs> that's how I remember. This is basically the dusting mitt for your floor. Um, and then it's removable, just like that. We also have the wet mop pad. So this is basically the Enviro cloth for your floor. And again, super easy to just stick it right on. Um, all of our mop pads also have a little hook. So like when I get it wet, um, I rinse it out real good and I hang it to dry. Um, 
So that's the wet pad. And then we also have a couple more specialty pads. We have a tile mop pad, which um, it's basically the same as the wet one, but this darker stripe squiggle is like a grittier material to help scrub stuff off your tile. We have the chenille mop pad that's like, they actually have a dusting product that's like this too. But all these little like fingers just really help to pick up the dust and pet hair. If you have pets, I really recommend this one. Um, and it's just really soft. <laughs> so that's the chenille pad. And then we do also have a window cloth mop pad. Um, you can use our mop to clean high windows in your home. Um, so if you were doing that, you would use this to come behind and dry. Or I actually use it on my floors. I have like a some kind of wood floor. And this helps them to just be nice and shiny when we're done mopping. Really happy with this purchase. Um, and again, nice little hook, velcro back, super convenient to use. Um, so that's my demo. And um, please feel free to leave comments below if there's any products that you have questions about or if there's areas of your home that you're like, you didn't really talk about cleaning this area, what would I use for that? Um, any questions that you might have at all, please let me know. Uh, I look forward to the rest of our party together. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.